Hello, welcome to Lifecycle Assessment of T-Shirt. Let's take a look into the contents. Before we go further to video. In this video, we will take a look on the introduction including, the type of shirt and what is the T-Shirt. Then, move to life cycle of T-Shirt that consists of five main phases which are farming and harvesting, manufacturing, shipping, warehouse and retail, and disposal versus 3R. The last one is the conclusion. First of all, there are many kinds of shirts between men and women. But for each shirt or any clothes AE representing their mood and for different occasion, how and when they are wearing those clothes depend on the situation and needed. Let's focus on the t-shirt. Basically our main topic in this video. What is t-shirt? T-shirt is non-collar clothing, short sleeves and suitable for both of men and women. It is called t-shirt because of its body shape and the sleeves which resembles to the letter T. T-shirt was made of cotton or polystyrene fiber which is suitable in hot In 1898 until 1918, U.S. Navy distributed the T-shirt as undergarments when wearing a uniform. 1950s printed T-shirt were introduced, and most of veterans are wearing theirs. Outerwear, pair with slacks or jeans. While in 1960s, the T-shirt gained popularity and demand for advertisement, souvenirs or self-expression with the elaboration of words, images and logos. Today, t-shirts are available in various in designs, colors, and styles. Next, let's move on to the life cycle of t-shirt which started from the raw materials until recovery and recycling process. In this cycles, we gonna focus on five phases of cycle, including the raw materials, manufacturing, storage retail, consumer, and disposal and recycling. First, raw materials star from farming and harvesting. Cotton cultivation needs frost-free period with moderate rain and adequate sunlight to survive. Cotton also require a great deal of irrigation practices to produce better quality of cotton. But, cotton irresistible to pest, so bringing in a crop required heavy use of pesticides. Then, for harvesting, the cotton crop using a different type of machine including picker and stripper, the name for they way their pluck the cotton from the stock. The seed cotton then stacked and formed into brick, called modules before transfer to gin. The gin cleans, and remove the seed from cotton fiber, leave a pile of waste and the raw materials travel around the world to popular textile production. From the farming activity, it left the impact to environment. For example, the usage of pesticides and fertilizer are contributing to water pollution, and soil pollution which is the loss of nutrients. Next, the transportation that used to pluck and carry the cotton, to manufacturing process lead to air pollution and road damages including before, during and after. Second phase is manufacturing, where the cotton is run through the carting machine to clean and line them up into two to three soft rope called slivers. The slivers are then loaded up into the spinning frame, which rotates the fiber at high speed and twisting into cotton yarn. Then, the yarn is fed into the loom to weave the cotton yarn into the sheets of clothes, known as gray goods. Lastly, the weave cotton will distribute it to garment manufacturing facilities to bleaches, dyed, or otherwise. Next, the impact of manufacturing phases to environment are, water pollution, unpleasant smell, excessive usage of chemicals. The third phase is pre-finished product until shipping. The process started with the final round of cleaning included singing, resizing, scouring and bleaching. Singing and resizing, are the process of heat and were added acid to make the cloth smooth and be more manageable size, while the scouring and bleaching, are the process of cleaned up to remove seed fragments or plant wax, also remove the color to turn into white as possible. Continue on third phase is finishing. 
There are numbers of mechanical and chemical techniques are applied to the desired texture and properties out of the cloth, including raising, calendering, chemical finished and sanferize. Raising is a machine with thousands of tiny, sharp teeth to pluck surface fibers, adding fuzziness and warmth to the final product. Then, calendering is machinery uses heated roller to produce that desired textural effects. Chemical finishing is treatment that added chemicals such as wrinkle resistant, flame retardant, and antimicrobial properties to the cloth. Last is sanferization, the industry term for pre-shrinking cotton, ensuring that garments won't come out half. Next, the fourth phase is transportation to warehouse and retail. Before sending to retail and store, the cloth was sent to garment manufacturing, where the clothing company determined what sizes, colors, cuts will be demand in futures. Workers cut the finished cloth into the required shapes and designs, and send the cut cloth to next set of workers to sew the garments. As the garments are completed, they were collected and sent back for another round of finishing, cleaning, and pressing before being packaged and stored for shipment to distribute to warehouse. Last but not least, fifth phase is disposal versus recycling. Disposal involved carbon emissions and cause pollution but it also a stage where some control as well. A disposal t-shirt will be either incineration or end up into the landfill. Improper disposal of t-shirt, build home for pests such as rat and cockroaches also cause unpleasant smell. Besides, incineration also cause air pollution. For recycle, the old t-shirt can be produced as shopping bags, braided basket, and so on. Recycled old clothes can Last slide is conclusion. The fashion industry faced many challenges due to various factors including the competition, increased production cost, less efficiency and labor attribution. From each phases of life cycle assessment of t-shirt, they potentially risk an impact to the environment. So, the action should be taken seriously by all responsibility to control the issues including ourselves. What we can do, buy country made clothing, a lot of cotton is grown but, it's often exported to become clothing then imported as a final product. Keeping the whole process in one country significantly reduces transportation related carbon emissions.